Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the multiplication as scaling mastery check where you are going to try some problems on your own to see if you have this concept down. If you're looking for more of an instructional video or more help, I dropped the link to my help video down below in the description. So go and check that out and then come back to the mastery check to try some on your own. If you're ready for the mastery check, you should have something out to write with and write on. And when I say press pause here in a little bit, you'll press pause, solve these six problems, press play when you're ready, and check your answers with mine. So you are doing greater than, less than, or equal signs in the blank boxes. So you are seeing if the left-hand side, the multiplication problem, is going to raise the value of the answer in comparison to the problem, bring it down, or keep it the same, like we talked about in the instructional video. Think, if you're multiplying by something greater than one, equal to one, or less than one. So let's get started. Go ahead and press pause. Welcome back. I'm assuming you have those six done, so let's see how you did. Number one. We have six times a half, so you'll notice a six on each side, and we multiplied by a half, which we know is less than a whole. So it's actually going to drag the value of that six down. The answer is going to be less than six. So six times one half is less than six. Number two, we have a seven on each side. And on the left, we're multiplying that 7 by 4 over 4, which is equal to a whole. So 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Number 3, we have 10 times 10 fifths. We have an improper fraction. 10 fifths is actually equal to 2. So we can think 10 times 2 is going to give us 20, right? and we're multiplying by something greater than a whole. So that side is going to give us something greater than 10. So 10 times 10 fifths is greater than 10. Number four looks like we have five on each side. So we're multiplying five by two and three ninths, which is greater than a whole. So it's going to increase the value of our five when we multiply those two numbers together. So 2 and 3 ninths times 5 is greater than 5. And that brings us into number 5. So we have 2 and 4 sixths on each side. And we're multiplying by 7 eighths, which is a little bit less than a whole. So it's actually going to drag our 2 and 4 sixths down in value. So 7 eighths times 2 and 4 sixths is less than 2 and 4 sixths. Number 6, we have a 3 on each side, and we're multiplying the 3 on the left by 8 sevenths, which is a little bit greater than a whole, but still greater than a whole. So it's going to increase our value of that 3 once we multiply. So 3 times 8 sevenths is greater than 3. So there you have it. There's the multiplication as scaling mastery check. Hopefully you have that concept down and you did well with those six problems. If you need a little more help or refresher, feel free to go back to the instructional video and hopefully that helps out. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.